What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back here working on the LS Swap Genesis Coupe today. We are just getting ready to pull the car back onto the lift so that we can kind of get everything dialed in and ready to start it, put a base map tune on it, that kind of thing. But before it goes over there, we have some work to do on the interior because you can't really open the doors when it's on the lift. So in today's video, we're gonna be focused on getting the interior as complete as we can before we put it back on the lift. I had this interior completely stripped out. I had the dash out, the carpet out, a lot of the door sills and all the plastic trim was out. Most of that was for running wires and just kind of cleaning everything up, but for the most part, the wiring in here is done. So all of that went back together. Obviously the carpets and stuff are back in and I reassembled pretty much all the trim pieces and everything. So the only thing left is just to clean it up and put the finishing touches in here. We do have our Sparco harness bar, just bolts up with the seat bolts. We also did get our fire extinguisher mounted. Other than that, we do have a carbon fiber steering wheel, but it's mostly a stock interior. Elsewhere, we did put a holly screen up here in the old head unit. So with it being a LS swap, our factory instrument cluster is kind of limited as far as what it tells us. This is all CAN bus as well, so a lot of this stuff you cannot get to work anyways once you start deleting things. But first we're going to start with our RPM gauge right here. I kind of have that sitting here freely for now. We are going to get this thing mounted then, but we do not have a functioning tachometer anymore. So I went ahead and bought that. It has a shift light and all, and I'm hoping that's kind of sufficient enough to kind of read the RPMs. Aside from that, we do have a AFR gauge that we recently just installed. This is going to tell us our air fuel ratios. I'm pretty sure the Terminator X screen will do that as well, but I did just want to have an extra gauge over here just in case and then we do have our secondary push button start so this one is going to cycle through accessory and pretty much give everything power but it will not start the car anymore once you go into accessory 2 this is going to light up and you're going to hold that to actually crank over the LS motor our airlift performance controller is nice and cleanly mounted this harness is from the AFR gauge this is what actually goes to our sensor and we have Still yet to run it. Um, we're going to probably run it down through the trans tunnel here and just kind of tuck it to the side. We did get our shift arm in as well, or shift handle, whatever you want to call it. This is a sicky one and a half inch kinked shift rod. I believe it's like 10 inches tall. I'm just going to tuck this back in here for now. And we're going to have to come back to that later. Before we can put the seats in, we're going to have to probably vacuum this up real quick. And then uh, I'm going to pull out the carpet cleaner. And we're going to start shampooing this area and cleaning it all up. So the carpets are fully shampooed both sides. I have a fan in there kind of helping to dry things off. And uh, here comes the satisfying part. So this is actually the second time I've shampooed the Genesis Coupe. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. It wasn't too bad dirt wise, but I mean as you can tell, it's uh, still not clean. I let the carpets dry for about a half hour. Everything feels dry. I didn't, you know, soak the carpets or anything either. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the seats in. These are Sparco R100 seats, I believe they're called. Pretty basic entry level seat. They are bucket style seats, nothing too crazy. And we did get the Sparco harnesses with them and the Sparco harness bar, which is already installed, but I'm gonna have to take out the bottom bolt to put in the harnesses. Before we cover up these nice carpets, Let's just take a moment and appreciate how clean they got. Hopefully they do not get this dirty again. This is the bolt I was referring to though and I'm honestly kind of concerned because when I installed this harness bar a while back these bolts didn't really want to thread in uh, the greatest so I'm hoping they come back out easy and aren't messed up but uh, this could get ugly. We were successfully able to get the bolt out and put this on and thread it back in and it didn't look bad at all. So I can't remember if it was these top bolts or the bottom bolts that I kind of put in 
and had a feeling they wouldn't come back out too easy. I think it's the top ones. And with that being said, that's kind of a good thing. All right, so we're putting the driver's side harness in now that kind of bolts to the side here. We just have to make sure we get this correct um, so that we can tighten the bolt down and not have to take it back out multiple times. I definitely don't like doing that. I'm gonna give you guys a piece of knowledge here. I'm gonna give you guys a pretty much good thing to remember. I'm gonna show you guys how to torque a bolt. First, you wanna grab your torque wrench, and then what you're gonna do is put it on the bolt, and you wanna set your torque. So, for us, we're going to do 300 foot-pounds. Now we can throw the driver's side seat in. I can't wait to see how fun this is. This is a bit tighter than the other side, but Obviously we got the seat out, so I think it can go back in. Just uh, have to be careful. Seats are mocked up, not tight yet, but that is how it's gonna look. And uh, I like it. Me likey, interior is looking good, guys. Wow, dude, I'm actually super stoked on this. I've been waiting to do this for a pretty long time. Like, I'm super happy we can finally get to this. Now we got our brand new OEM set of floor mats where you're gonna throw in. Okay, yeah, rear right. So they are labeled. I do have the seats back the whole way, so maybe a little difficult getting these rear ones in. So I actually got these shipped to my house and I opened a little corner just to check them out. And what do you know? Look at look at all the animal hay already. I'll have to vacuum that off in one second. But there we go guys. Wow. So we got both rear floor mats installed and then the passenger. But I think for the driver, we're gonna wrap it back up and save it for when we are done done with the interior and we still do have to move it over and stuff. So I'm gonna try to keep it clean by not putting this in yet. All right, so we moved the Eclipse back over on that side and then moved the Genesis Coupe back on this side so that way we can put it up on the lift. And uh, we are getting really close to first start. So we brought it back over here. Now we just have to fill the fluids, check over everything, tighten everything and get it set up and then we should be good to fire this thing up. But this is where we're leaving the interior for now. The seats and harness bar and everything are in. The harnesses aren't tied. I actually couldn't figure that out myself so we're gonna have to come back to that. But harnesses need tied and then the seats do need fully bolted down. Uh, they're just kind of snugged up. They're not super tight yet. We got all the floor mats in except for the driver's side. We're gonna leave this out just because I know it's gonna get a bit dirty again. And uh, for the shifter, we do have some problems. This is basically where it'll be mounted. We do have some problems hitting it going into first and then second too. So we're gonna have to work on that. And obviously the shift boot is going to be something uh, a little challenging as well. We do have the harness to run. So we got a lot of stuff to clean up in this area. And then we gotta put our throttle pedal and cable in. What I'm hoping is on first startup tune, I'm hoping we don't have to like set the throttle position with the pedal. If so, not really a huge deal. Thank you guys for watching. I realize this is probably a shorter video, but we spent all weekend getting that interior dialed and I think my wheels are coming back this week. So we should have plenty of content coming, fun content. And maybe, maybe by next week, we will have our first start video up. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Stay hydrated because I need to hydrate. And...